Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over the MLB slate on DraftKings for Tuesday, April 10th. A uh, really big slate today, 12 games on Tuesday's main slate. Uh, so I don't want to waste any time. we got a lot of pitching options, a lot of good pitching options at that. Uh, definitely some stacks to talk about and batters to talk about as well that I like. Uh, so just before we do get started, guys, make sure you drop a like on the video. If you're new, uh, be sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, starting off at pitcher today and looking at pitchers we want to target. A loaded position up top. We have five pitchers today uh, that are $10,000 or more. Jacob deGrom, Chris Sale, Steven Strasburg, Luis Severino, and Carlos Martinez. Uh, I do like paying up for some of these options. A lot of these guys get great matchups today. I love deGrom. I uh, love his matchup with the Marlins. Chris Sale, we obviously know, kind of matchup dependent. You can really take Chris Sale no matter who he's going up against. And Steven Strasburg uh, is also in a good spot as well against uh, against the Braves. We saw Max Scherzer just go out and totally dominate the Braves. Ten strikeouts, complete game. Uh, Strasburg's at a good price of 10800 I do like him here. Severino against Boston is probably the one guy that I would shy away from. I don't think Severino is a bad pitcher or anything. Uh, but against Boston, a team that doesn't really strike out, puts the ball in play, Kind of scared for Severino here. And then Carlos Martinez, another guy that has a lot of upside against the Brewers. Uh, we saw Carmart really go out and just shut this Brewers team down. I believe last time out against the Brewers, they just played about a week ago. And I think Carmart had like 35 DraftKings points. Uh, so he's another good option. Trying to rank these options, though. Uh, definitely number one for me is Chris Sale. And Chris Sale uh, is a guy that I'm really trying to pay up for at 12300 I just always consider Chris Sale anytime he's on the slate. The dude's just such a good pitcher. I don't really care... Who he's going up against, uh, the guy will get strikeouts no matter what the matchup is. And you know with Boston's really good lineup, they're going to be able to give Chris Sale some run support to where he can get a win. Even though they're going up against Severino, I still think Chris Sale uh, is able to get a win here. And the Red Sox do get Severino, or do get to Severino and give Chris Sale a couple runs to support him with. And adding guys like Giancarlo Stanton, uh, obviously to that Yankees lineup, that does give them a lot of power. Uh, but Giancarlo Stanton, we've seen the last few games, this dude is going to strike out a ton. I believe he's struck out like 10 times like the last three games. Uh, and against Chris Sale, if Stanton really isn't, if he's not taking Chris Sale deep, then there's a good chance he's going to strike out against Sale. Same with Aaron Judge, a guy that definitely will strike out. And then guys like Gardner and Gregorius, even though they're not heavy strikeout guys against lefties, uh, the K rate is a bit increased, especially with a lefty like Chris Sale. And then towards the bottom of this lineup, definitely some strikeouts there as well. Uh, so I think just Sale has so much upside here. He might not be the safest play. Maybe Jacob DeGrom's a little bit safer just because the Marlins are so bad. Obviously, the Yankees, their lineup is a lot more talented than the Marlins lineup. Uh, but I feel like Sale has more upside than DeGrom. So that's kind of the reason I'm going with Sale today. And then guys like Strasburg, Severino, and Carmart. I do like Strasburg and Carmart here, but I think I'd just rather pay up for Sale. I feel like Sale just has so much upside on this slate. If there's any pitcher that could go for 40 or more, uh, 40 to 50 DK points, it's definitely Sale. So for that reason, he's the guy I want to pay for. Uh, probably my favorite other option besides Sale would definitely be Carlos Martinez. Uh, just because this Brewers lineup uh, is definitely a team that will strike out. There are strikeouts up and down this lineup. We saw Carmart really dominate this team last time they played. 8.1 innings pitch. Got the win. 10 strikeouts. Only allowed 2 walks and 4 hits. 38 draftings points last time he did play the Brewers. Uh, at 10100 that's a reasonable price tag for Carmart. He's pitching at home in St. Louis. A uh, much better pitcher's park than Miller Park is. So I like Carmart as the SP or as the sort of like pivot away from Sale and DeGrom, the top two options in my opinion for today. Uh, but then looking for SP2, there are a lot of good SP2 options today. Uh, some of them are a little bit uh, more expensive than maybe you'd want to pay. Like if you play Chris Sale and a guy like Aaron Nola, I do really like Aaron Nola today, but that's a lot of salary to pay for your two pitchers. That's going to really thin you out on bats. Uh, so I'm kind of looking a little bit cheaper. There's a really cheap option today that I like. He might be somewhat risky, but uh, Hinjin Ryu, just 6800 against Oakland. I like here just because of the price tag and the matchup. Uh, we did see Ryu really struggle in his debut against the Diamondbacks in Chase Field. He only pitched three and two-thirds innings, allowed five hits, three runs, uh, got or walked five batters as well, just got two strikeouts, .3 drafting points in his debut. I think we're really going to see uh, Ryu bounce back here. We've seen Ryu. Uh, he's a Definitely a dominant pitcher at times. He can be uh, dominant at times. At 6800 I feel like it's just too cheap of a price tag for, uh, for Ryu, given this matchup against Oakland. There are strikeouts up and down this Oakland lineup. Uh, Oakland's going to have to travel to the National League today, so Ryu will be able to face the opposing pitcher, which is pretty much a free strikeout. 
and I just really like him here. Uh, Oakland has a low implied run total. I think it's likely the Dodgers able to give Ryu some run support to where he can get a win. Uh, 6800 that's really the reason I like Ryu. Just that price tag today uh, allows you to pay up for bats. You're getting a good pitcher for cheap that has upside. Even when you play Ryu in sale, that still leaves you 38.62 remaining per player, which you can definitely work around. Uh, so given the price, Ryu is definitely my favorite SP2 option today. Uh, if you want to get up to like Aaron Nola, I think Aaron Nola is probably my second favorite option at 8,200 against the Reds. Uh, but it will be hard to play like Sell and Aaron Nola. Maybe if you don't want to play Sell and Ryu, then you could do like Carmar and Aaron Nola for the same price. Or even like Strasburg and Aaron Nola for a similar price. That's kind of a 2v2 that you'll have to decide on throughout the day. Uh, but right now, between that 2v2, I'm leaning the Sale and Ryu side. I think that's the better side that has more upside. Uh, but then if we look at other pitchers that I didn't mention, really the pitchers I like up top are definitely DeGrom, Sale, and Carmart. Uh, and then the SP2 options, uh, Nola and Ryu are definitely my favorite SP2 options. There isn't really a lot I love besides those two guys. Like uh, Obviously, Dallas Keuchel has a lot of talent, but against Minnesota, 9,100. I think I'd rather just go down to Aaron Nola. It's kind of the same can be said with Johnny Cueto against Arizona. I like Arizona, or I like San Francisco, or Cueto playing in San Francisco today because that's a, a really good pitcher's park. But 8,700, I feel like Nola has more upside, so I'd rather just go down to him. Maybe if we want to look for another cheap SP2, I think you could consider Andrew Kashner here against Toronto. But Ryu's uh, really similar in price, just a few hundred more, and I think I'd rather just play Ryu over Kashner. Uh, so my cheap options for today at SP2 are definitely Nola and Ryu. Uh, but now if we look for bats, team to stack, and BVP plays for today, uh, my three bats for today are all going to come from the outfield. Uh, starting off, Justin Upton, I love here uh, in the outfield, 4,300 against Martin Perez. Love Justin Upton here, love the Angels today. As a stack, I did want to include Mike Trout in the five plays, but uh, he is a little expensive, and since I paid up for sale, I didn't want to leave you guys just uh, not a ton of salary if you do want to build around these five. So I roll with Justin Upton. He's uh, 1.2K cheaper than... Mike Trout, he has a lot of upside here, and it is a great matchup against Martin Perez, a very bad pitcher, a pitcher that really struggles to righties, gives up a lot of home runs in Texas. This game's going to be played in Texas, a uh, very good hitter's park. It's going to be a little warm at 73 degrees. Obviously, Texas, their ballpark, it's a terrific hitter's park during the summer when it's like 95, 100 degrees, but uh, even now at 73 degrees, it's still a pretty solid hitter's park. I love the righties from uh, the Angels today, Trout, Upton, Pujols. Uh, even if you want to go down to like Simmons, I think all these guys are in play today, especially like uh, Trout. Obviously, he's a great play, but Pujols is cheap. Uh, Simmons is cheap. These are guys that you can definitely use. The Angels have a high run total for today, implied to score 5.2 runs. Uh, so I like getting some exposure to them with Justin Upton at 4,300. I think that is a little bit too cheap. Has homered uh, in two of his last three games, homered on the seventh against Oakland and the sixth. So maybe Upton's on a little bit of a heater here and he keeps it going against Martin Perez. Uh, so I like him in the outfield at 4,300. Another outfielder I like for cheaper uh, is Hunter Renfro. Getting some exposure to Coors Field today. I like Hunter Renfro, and I like his price tag. I think 3,600 might be too cheap for Renfro, especially when he's going to be in Coors Field versus a lefty. Uh, Tyler Anderson, definitely not a lefty. I really stack against because he is a pretty good ground ball pitcher. Is pretty good at limiting damage. Uh, but when you have bats from Coors Field that are priced under 4K, like Margot, 3.9, Perella's 3.6, Renfro projected back cleanup is only 3.6 as well. Uh, these guys are just too cheap to be in course field. We saw the Padres really get to John Gray. Pretty disappointing. I was very high on Gray last night and it didn't really work out. The same thing could happen here to Tyler Anderson. The Padres could definitely put up runs. Uh, so I like them as a cheap stack today. I think they're just too cheap playing in course field. Uh, and Hunter Renfro, a guy with a lot of power, going to course field should definitely help him out here. Uh, so at 3,600, he's a play that I like from the outfield. Uh, and then the last guy that I like in the outfield is also very cheap. Curtis Granderson at 3300 I like from the Blue Jays here against Andrew Kashner. Granderson, I feel like, is another option that's uh, just a little bit underpriced. He's going to be batting towards the top of the lineup for the Blue Jays, uh, especially when a righty is on the mound. Granderson is projected about fifth uh, in, their, or in their projected lineup. He's projected about fifth. But we've seen Granderson uh, bat clean up at times. We've seen him lead off at times. And against a righty like Andrew Kashner, uh, this is definitely a spot where Granderson can have some success. This game's going to be played in Baltimore, in Camden Yards, a good hitter's park. Uh, Granderson has solid BVP against Kashner as well. Three, uh, three for 11 with a home run. So I just really like Granderson here, and I think he's a little bit too cheap at 3,300. Uh, so these are my five plays for today, guys. Chris Sale, 
Injun Ryu, Justin Upton, Hunter Renfro, and Curtis Granderson. Uh, now if we look at teams that stack today, look at some of the top implied run totals on the slate. Obviously the Rockies, uh, again, are going to be a top stack. Against Joey Lucchesi, not even sure who that is, but uh, some of these Rockies righties getting the platoon split against the lefty. Uh, you can definitely consider guys like LeMahieu, Arenado, Desmond Story. These guys are expensive, but uh, if you don't pay up for Sale or DeGrom today, you look for maybe two cheaper SP2s. Uh, you can definitely stack the Rockies. I like the other side as well with the Padres, uh, especially some of these guys just because they're too cheap, priced under 4 k I like a lot of the Padres righties. And then if we look for other teams beside course, uh, besides course Field, definitely the Angels I mentioned, uh, especially the righties like Trout, Upton, Pujols, uh, Angelton Simmons. Those are guys that I really like today. Uh, and I think some of these righties from the Mets could definitely be in play, like Cespedes, uh, Wilmer Flores. I really like today if he's in the lineup for value. He is only 2.9K. We know Wilmer Flores has a lot of success versus lefties. Caleb Smith is not the best lefty, so... I do like Wilmer getting some exposure to the Mets. Uh, I think they're a good value stack if you want to go to them. And then, obviously, we do want to pick on Homer Bailey. He's not a good pitcher, so a lot of these uh, Phillies you can consider. Abdubal Herrera, uh, Nick Williams, these guys are really cheap. Even Santana, Hernandez, obviously Reese Hoskins, a really good play. Definitely like the Phillies as well. Uh, another stack you consider because just Homer Bailey is not a good pitcher. Um, but that's really it for stacks. Now if we look at BVP, some of the top BVP plays on the slate with big sample. Uh, definitely one that sticks out to me that I really see is Brian McCann versus Jake Odorizzi. Uh, Brian McCann is 13 for 28 versus Odorizzi with three home runs, a 464 average. Uh, so Brian McCann, definitely one of the top BVP plays on the slate. Also down the bottom here, Hunter Pence has had a lot, a lot of success against Patrick Corbin for what that is worth. 15 for 33 with four home runs, a 455 average. Uh, you could definitely consider Hunter Pence today with that BVP. Even though the game's being played in San Francisco, I still do like Pence here. Uh, when you're hitting 455 against a really good pitcher, it definitely means uh, that you're just seeing him well, that you just have a lot of success against him. And another guy I like for tournaments, uh, Freddie Freeman, 15 for 40 off a of season. Uh, Steven Strasburg, four home runs, 375 average. You could definitely consider Freddie Freeman here. Freeman did get a price decrease down to 4.4K. We usually never see Freddie Freeman this cheap unless he's facing a decent pitcher. Uh, obviously, he's facing a good pitcher today in Strasburg, but uh, Freeman has had success against Strasburg, so you could consider him here, uh, especially with that BVP. Now, if we look at pitchers uh, that have had success in their matchups, uh, at least on the main slate, Chris Sale obviously uh, has had success against the Yankees. The Yankees have really struggled against uh, Chris Sale. Felix Hernandez has had some good success against the Royals. Tyler Anderson has done well against the Padres, but I don't think that's going to keep me off of some of those Padres guys. I still like them today, especially the righties. And Johnny Cueto, done really well against the Diamondbacks. And then pitchers that have really struggled. Uh, Steven Strasburg really struggled against the Braves throughout his career. Uh, on the other side of that game, Mike fulton really struggled against the Nationals. Martin Perez has not done well against the Angels. They've hit him well. Tyler Skaggs on the other side of that game has not done well against the Rangers. And then finally, Jake Odorizzi really struggled against the Astros. They've hit him well. A small sample, but... Astros have gone 20 for 60 against Jake Odorizzi with a 333 average. But yeah, guys, that's really it for BVP and PVB on this slate, and that's really it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't dropped a like on the video yet, make sure you do that before you get out of here, and make sure you subscribe as well if you have not already. Uh, if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT, or just feel free to leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And good luck tonight on this slide, guys. Peace.